Good morning, North America. Pretty boring day here in Europe. We're looking to get long dollar Swiss through the highs. Looked like we were going to get there. Printed 84 there at the open. But then we dashed lower. Now we're sitting here at 38. Not really much to do. We're just waiting for CPI. On a hot one, we like this still. We're going to be buying through 90 and through the figure. But you really want to clear this 12 area. 99.12. We'll see what happens. Dollar yen. We were enthusiastically long this morning. Looked just fine. Bought the dip. Sold the rally. Now we're kind of fucked here. It looks like we're going to have to dump this thing before CPI. <coughs> it's kind of holding treading water here at 15. Uh, obviously, we can't, we're not going to hold anything into CPI, so we're going to have to just take the small pennies that we've earned and book them on the ledger. But if we get through 110.50 on a hot CPI, there's really no resistance until 111.43. What else is there? Cable through 50 at the open, down to 43, shooting up. Pretty decent uh, employment average earnings numbers. Nothing really crazy going on here. We're just trading water, waiting for a US CPI now. No trading cable. We have this um, lunacy in the House of Lords today. My sources are telling me the the interesting elements or the amendment on the meaningful vote in quotation marks is not going to happen until very late in the afternoon. So that's annoying and therefore I don't care. I've got other plans tonight. I'm not going to be watching cable after dinner. Um, especially because we'll be working tomorrow night late with the FOMC. Um, so I don't know what to do with cable. You know, Obviously, the, the important points are 134.70 and 133.40 now. Um, pick your poison. If they uh, vote meaningly against this, and a bunch of Tories jump ship and maze careers in trouble, I guess they're going to smash cable, and then if they kind of make this into a softy Brexity scenario, they'll buy cable. For those of you in New York who want to trade cable in that liquidity, God bless you, um, and good luck with that. So basically, we're just sort of focusing on this dollar Swiss and dollar yen. Dollar Swiss looks really interesting now, back up through... 90 and through the figure. Dollar yen, it's getting kind of stale, really. Um, if we get a soft CPI, I don't see a ton to do here. Because um, we're going to be right back mid range going into FOMC tomorrow. So we will trade on a hot CPI. On a weak CPI, we won't trade. One last thing Euro yen printed a nice. Uh, print double top now 130.29 um, so if you're coming in now and it's trading at 90 it's a bit late to be fading this <clears throat> next time up though there will be stops above 30 if you want to break trade it um, a few of the guys I know that are short this stuff so logically their their stops are going to be above 30 uh, equities we're waiting 28.08 is what we're looking for. Uh, we got up to 94 today, or 92 and change. 94 yesterday, 92 and change today. Um, we're patiently waiting for a move up here to this 0810 area, and then we're going to sell. So nothing really to do there. Focus is still dollar, Swiss, and dollar yen. Good luck out there, people. I will see you tomorrow at the European Open. Bye.